The best day to visit Barcelona is April 23rd. It's La Diada de San Jordi, the day of St. George, patron saint of Barcelona, and the city is packed with books, roses, and Catalan flags. But what's the legend of St. George, and why is it so tied into such a big day in Catalonia? And what's up with the books and roses? Let's find out. St. George is a soldier in the Roman army who refused to persecute the Christians after being ordered to by the Roman Emperor Diocletian. He himself comes out as a Christian and is martyred on April 23rd, giving us the celebration day that we have today. He becomes really popular for his tale, and especially in those Middle Ages where he becomes the patron saint of Catalonia in 1456. Realistically, he's been celebrated here since around that 16th century, becoming more and more popular today, even being tied in with the celebration that we have that basically acts as a Catalan Valentine's Day. The more popular legend that we hear about St. George goes a little bit like this. There was a horrible dragon terrorizing a village that had to give up its livestock to keep its people safe. When all the animals were gone, a lottery system was created to sacrifice the people. This went on day by day until one day the princess's name was elected. The king who was absolutely distraught was looking for somebody to take over and replace his daughter, but nobody would offer themselves up. This is when St. George heard of the princess's peril and comes to the rescue. He comes riding along on his noble steed, insert the Monty Python reference. He takes out his sword, stabs the dragon, saves that princess, and killing that dragon out of the dragon's blood comes a rose which he presents to the princess. One of those versions even has the legend happening in the town of Montblanc, here in Tarragona, where even today on April 23rd, they have a huge festival inside of the city's medieval walls. Obviously from the legend, we can see the tradition where ladies get gifted the rose, but I'm often asked about the books and how that all fits into the story. Well, as far back as 1920, a celebration for El Libro Español had been asked for, but it wasn't gonna be granted until 1926. Believe it or not, the first five editions of this celebration were gonna be held on October 7th, which is what we believe to be the birth date of Miguel de Cervantes, the author of Don Quixote, maybe the best and most famous novel ever written. For whatever reason, those first five years caught on more here in Catalonia than the rest of Spain, where it was more tied into bigger celebrations and a 10% discount was given on all the books. But for the 1931 edition, they looked to move the date for two main reasons. One, to find some better weather, and two, to separate it from the traditional start of the school year and the selling of textbooks. Instead of using Cervantes' birthday, they decided to use the day that he died, April 23rd, which crazily enough coincides with the date of death for William Shakespeare as well. Both authors died April 23rd, 1616. Although technically the calendars in England and Spain were still different in 1616, so it was really like a 10 day difference, that's for another day. The story sounds a lot better if you hear that they both died on the same day. That 1931 edition being moved to April 23rd also coincided with the celebration of St. George, which at that point had become a day of Catalan pride, and as we already spoke about, the celebration of the legend of St. George with rose stalls in the streets. Now books were added to the mix. No one knew that that same year, the Second Republic here in Spain was going to be announced just 10 days earlier, making it a much bigger event. In fact, the president of Catalonia at the time, Francesc Macià, made it a public holiday and a special day for the Catalan flag. Now you see why there's so many flags around on that day? The dates would have to change again in the Civil War, when on two separate occasions in back-to-back -back years, the celebration was held in June. Kind of like in 2020 when we had the Summer San Jordi in July. The act of giving books didn't return to its current date until 1945. During all of this time, it was known as the Fiesta del Libro Español. The celebration has become such a big event that in 1995, UNESCO declared April 23rd to be World Book Day and the Day of Authors' Rights. On any given year, over one and a half million books can be sold here in Catalonia alone, making up over 5% of what the booksellers sell in the entire year. If you ever do make it to Barcelona on April 23rd, you'll see vendors out in the streets selling books and roses all over the city. The main places to be are La Rambla and Passage de Gracia, but you will see them all over the place. In fact, a lot of authors even schedule their publishing dates around this day, and many will come in to do special book signings as well. Now you know a little bit more about the legend behind St. George and what that means here in Catalonia for La Diada de San Jordi, why all of those books, why all of those roses are all over the city every April 23rd. 
If you've ever been here before, leave a comment below and tell me what your experience was like. And if you plan on coming for one of these April 23rds, I hope you can get out here soon. Let me know what you think about the celebration just in general. Remember, if you haven't done so already, you can always subscribe to the channel to find more about Barcelona and Spain as a whole, get you better prepared for your next trip, or just keep you connected after you leave. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.